Hi guys, this is uh, Nemo Dane from Silent Ox Studios. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over a video on renaming our MMO kit to our project name. We're gonna uh, we're gonna change the clean clean third person name so that it becomes our own name. Uh, I'm going to keep a video record of some of the stuff I'm doing, and I thought it might help some of you guys be able to see what's going on if I recorded it and put it up here for you guys to use as an example. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and get started here. When I download the kit, I try to keep it in a folder by itself. That way if I ever need a backup copy, I've got it or if I lose it. So let's go down in here where I got the latest version is 4.10. Uh, we're going to get a copy of the kit itself. So just go ahead, right click, make a copy. And then we're going to put it in another folder. It's just for it. I'm going to do it in the project build. Come in here, we're going to paste the folder. I've already pasted it here. Alright, according to this, uh, there's a link in the documentation where they talk about it. I'll post that in here, but it's also already in the documentation link. But we're going to go over this step here from the actual uh, answer hub of UE4, and we're going to follow this along and rename it. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is, once we have the folder in our, in our project build area, we're going to go ahead and rename it. So let's just left click it click it again, it's going to highlight. We're going to type our name. For you, be the name of your game. For me, it's going to be Soul Binders Online. Let's just go ahead and highlight that and copy it. That was the right click if you need to get that. And then just the left click. Boom. And we're done. Alright, so we've named the folder. Now let's go ahead and open the folder. Now we're going to go in here to the U, U project, or the Unreal uh, Engine project. And right there it is. Clean third person. We're going to rename that, so just left click, click again, it's going to highlight, right click, and paste. Remember, we, we had it copied from earlier, and there it is, and just click anywhere. Alright, so we've renamed the U project. Now we're going to open the U project, and we're going to edit it. I use Notepad++. Uh, it's a good thing to have if you don't have it. I recommend it because it makes editing a lot easier. So I'm going to go over ahead and open here and show you. Uh, it's got a lot of features to it. I'll put a link in the video below for you to get a copy of this. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and right click this. We're going to edit it with Notepad++. Just left click. Boom. There it is. Uh, we're going to look for the clean third person name. We're going to highlight this. Go up here to search. Click. Hit replace. And it's going to auto fill in it for what we're looking for. I've already typed this in because I've done it. But we're going to be replacing this with Soul Binders Online. So we just hit the replace button. Boom. Uh, as you can see, this is going to help us further on. All right, that's all we can. We know that's all that's in here. So we can close, save this file, and close, and reduce. All right. After that, we're going to rename the uh, PNG. There should be a PNG. This is the uh, image that's going to be in the uh, Epic Games folder launcher. If you launch it, that's what it'll be. So you can just uh, you can change that image what you want. I'm going to use this one by default. Left click again, click and Control B to paste, and we're done. Now it says to go to the source folder. I'm going to go to the source folder. Inside the source folder, we got to rename the target.cs's. We have three of them in here, so we're going to go ahead and rename those. Be sure when you pick these up, just get the word clean third person. So, control V, done. Be sure to leave the word editor available. We just want to take out control third, I mean, clean third person. And we're going to leave server. Make sure we get that. All right, we've re renamed all those. Now we've got to edit these. It says to open them up, and we're going to rename anything with the uh, the new name. So click the first one, holding down the shift key. Click the last one that picks them all up. Right click, and then edit with Notepad. Boom! There they're open. We're going to go over to the search, hit the replace. It does have a shorthand shortcut key. I'm sorry. You can hit Control H. I always click, and it's going to pull it up. There we are clean third person, got our name, find it, replace it. You can just keep hitting replace, replace, replace. Alright, one more t 
one more time and you notice nothing else was found so that one's empty leave this open go ahead and save that file close it out go into the next one find it replace it replace it replace it all right done save close find the next one replace it replace it replace it you can hit replace all and that will get them all I just like to go through it and uh, be methodical just have it all right we're gonna save that we can close that folder we can close that and we can reduce that all right now that we have all those named let's look at this file folder here we're gonna rename it just click left click again control V and we're done it says to open the folder all right we're gonna open this up we're gonna go down inside we're gonna look for the dot build CS file here it is right here we're gonna rename it be careful to leave the dot build in place so just highlight clean third person control V there we go now we're gonna have to edit this we're gonna open this and find any instances of the old name so once again right click edit with notepad go to the search place find next there they are replace replace done close save and we're done all right quick and easy really like it all right we've renamed the build we found that okay now we've got to go back to the main project folder hold on let me adjust my view over here on my other screen it says go back to the main project folder so let's go back while we're uh, go ahead and close this one down I'm gonna move this to the center of the screen so we'll see what's going on go to the main project folder once we're in the main project folder uh, we're gonna look for the uh, oh we're gonna generate the studio project files alright so come down here to uh, your U project left click and get it targeted you're gonna right click it and you should see generate Visual Studio project files. If you don't see this, uh, there's a command line you can enter. Follow the link that will be in this step-by-step -step process below and it will tell you what you can type. But you should see this if you've downloaded the uh, Unreal Engine and done any kind of compiling. Alright, so let's generate the Visual Studios. This won't take long. It will generate them pretty quickly. And then after those are generated, as you can see, it gen uh, generated our new uh, Visual Studio. Now we're going to open this in uh, Visual Studio. Just double click. You should already have this installed if you've been working on the kit. Now this is going to take a bit for it to open. It's got to open all the files. My system's a little bit slow. Uh, while that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and then we'll come back and pick it up from there. Alright, see you in a little bit. Alright everybody, we're back. Uh, it's now opened and uh, what we're going to be looking for is it's called Implement Primary Game Module. I'm going to just copy it from the page over here. Let me highlight and copy it. I'm going to paste it in the search up here. Uh, implement Primary Game Module. You can pause the game, or pause the game. <laughs> you can pause this video and see what we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for it in the CPP. Uh, there it is right here, located down in the CPP. We're going to be editing that and we want to change it to the new name. So just double click this. It's going to open it up for us. And there it is, clean third person. Type in our new name. Do a quick copy. And a quick paste. Control V. Alright, so that's done. Let's save it. We can close that window. We're going to reduce that. Uh, we're closing in on the 10 minute mark. Uh, let's go ahead and stop there. Uh, I'll pick up the rest of what we're going to have to get done to finish this in the next video. Alright, guys. Uh, see you then. Thank you very much.